Hi guys! Hi! I hope all of you are doing well in this quarantine time. So shortly for the people who don't know who we are, I am Fabian from Living Give 4x4 and Isabella and uh, the two dogs, our two dogs, Uni and Basco, we travel the world since over three and a half years now, this continent. We started out in Europe traveling. Um, we got our truck in 2017, yes. And then we switched to this truck, we shipped it. We drove a little in Europe, Italy, you can see that on YouTube. Uh, we drove, uh, we shipped it from Hamburg to Halifax. And from there on the journey on this continent began and we went up and down several times, United States, Canada, Mexico. And we are on the way to Argentina right now. Corona crisis uh, 2020. Uh, we invite some people, some other overlanders, to talk about their stories, like you can see already in part one of this uh, video. So, this time it's really special to us because it's kind of uh, how our story on YouTube basically started. Uh, they produced a video about us with us uh, two, three years ago, actually, two and a half years ago, I don't even know, um, in Seward, Alaska and uh, yes uh, it was the beginning of a wonderful story um, you can see the video we're gonna link it up so i just want to tell you shortly how we met ben and rebecca we were in seward we did the kenai fjords tour back then so when we came back from the lovely tour you can also see on youtube uh, and we saw some icebergs and stuff you know uh, some some whales and whatever so this was really great so we came back to the truck and on the front windshield there was a, a little paper slit and it had a uh, telephone number and uh, Ben and Rebecca were signing that. They were saying, hey, listen, you're a YouTuber, we love that, what you're doing, we love your rig, we love your story, we saw you. Um, if you want to come by or you want to meet and talk, uh, you can, we are living in Seward. We met up and we had a lovely evening. It was funny because, I don't know, Ben, if you agree, <laughs> And Rebecca, they wanted to do so so hard like a bonfire outside. So we spent the first night sitting on the bonfire. You know, they thought you know as a camper lifestyle, you you want to have that every night. So thanks again for that experience. We don't do so many fires, but every once in a while we do if if the location is right. And in your case, it was it was a nice evening. And then uh, Ben and Rebecca, they said, well, we might as well maybe we do a tour about your rig and whatever. So long story short, this video was very really successful for them and it's glad it changed uh, their YouTube world and uh, of course ours too, because through this video, you guys, a lot of guys from you came to our channel to live and give 4x4. Um, thanks for that and uh, we love it that you watch our videos since this time, three years already, so consistently. So basically that's where we met and guess what? They have an update today uh, where they are. Uh, probably some of you know that already, but they, Ben was so nice to do an extra video um, and Rebecca about their journey. So let them let them tell their story and greetings to, well, you will figure out where they're going to be right now. Greetings, Fabian, Isabella, Bosco, Uni, and Frank the Tank. It was good to hear from you guys, and it's nice to see you settled into a beautiful property down there in Mexico. It's also really good to hear that you're on the fast track to finding health again. This video, it's coming to you from our driveway in Seward, Alaska. Three years ago, the four of us all met and became friends here and created a video together that has forever changed our lives. And it's great to be sharing that with you. <laughs> a lot's changed in those three years and happened most recently. All of us travelers figuring out how to weather this COVID storm. For us, that meant a 4,300 mile trek home to Alaska from Mexico. 
So when the coronavirus started ramping up, we were in Baja, California, Mexico, filming our documentary, Over the Land, North America, which is about all of our escapades around this continent for the past two years. I can't lie, we were down in Baja enjoying life, savoring every minute of it, and working at the same time. It was the best of all worlds. But then the escalation came to the point of, in the States, they were calling for people to shelter in place. So we did so. We left the remote beaches and found an awesome little campground on a farm. There was a produce stand next door. On site, there were oranges. There was a swimming pool and grass. Grass in Baja. Come on. It was a paradise fountain of youth environment for us. The escalation just continued. First, it was shelter in place for a couple of weeks, then to the end of the month, then for a month, then for an undefined period of time. And we realized this wasn't something that was going to be done very quickly. We have the perfect place to shelter here at our home in Alaska, and it became obvious that it was time to start making our way north. This also coincided with my mom, who is a full-time RVer, deciding and agreeing to take us up on the offer to shelter in place here at our house as well. She was in Arizona at the time, having a really hard time finding a reasonably priced place to stay that we were sure would stay open. And she's also a cancer survivor, so we wanted to get her kind of out of the hot spots for this virus and get her somewhere that would be as safe as possible. Home for all three of us ended up being that place. Drive home to Alaska. It rolls off the tongue mighty easy, doesn't it? But the reality of the matter is that it was a 4,300 mile journey that took all of us 16 days to complete. For Beck and I, it started in Baja, California, Sur. And then we had to do some military inspections, then cross the state line from Sur to Norte, drive all the way through Baja Norte to reach the United States border, cross there, pick up some stuff at my dad's in San Diego, then head over to Yuma to pick up Beck's mom who was there and start the journey north through six of the United States to the northern border. By the time we reached Montana, we had caught up with winter again. So we laid up in Shelby for a couple of days to weather out a storm before crossing the Canadian border. For us, crossing into Canada was pretty simple. We're Alaska residents, which coming home is considered essential travel right now. We had a doctor's note for my mom, so they wanted to make sure we only stopped for fuel, had plenty of food for the entire journey, and otherwise, as per usual when crossing into Canada, they were friendly and welcoming. About the only problem we had crossing Canada was when we reached the Yukon. On the border, the conservation officer set up a roadblock to tell us that we had 24 hours to cross their territory. That is a very daunting task with a lot of factors involved, like how many hours have you been driving already? How fast do your vehicles cruise? How many drivers do you have so you can take shifts? But it worked out because in the same breath they said, do the best you can and just try not to come in contact with people. I'm breaking quarantine. I'm on a public street. You better get back on our Ooh, property. On our land again. Made it. Well, Alaska border crossing was pretty easy to traverse as well. The officers honestly didn't even mention COVID. They gave us a piece of paper back with our passports that talked about what the state of Alaska is requesting, which is a 14 day quarantine of all returning citizens. We are on day 10 of observing this at this point, and it's been you know, a pretty uneventful return home. Our friends have been awesome to put up welcome signs welcoming us back. We had uh, neighbors dropping off dinner and treats and one of our friends has done mail and grocery runs so we could stay home. Otherwise, we've been getting caught up on the work that we missed out on doing while we drove home and getting settled back into life in the house. So what are travelers like us going to do if we're stuck at home and not able to travel for an indefinite amount of time? Well, before we started traveling harder, we've always traveled hard, um, we also had a chapter of our lives here in Alaska where we were a little bit on the spectrum of being homesteaders. 
We have a nice garden that has been thoroughly neglected for five years, but it will not take much to bring it back to life. And we also have a chicken coop over here and we're looking into getting some chickens, but we are going to make the most of things. Luckily in Alaska, we can still get outside and enjoy the beauty of nature as well as the bounty of the land by going fishing and hunting. We have subsistence ways of catching fish and it's a wonderful lifestyle to take advantage of. And if we're able to go hunting and fishing, that means we're still able to go camping. And fortunately, we live in the land of adventure, Alaska. And we also have a few more tricks up our sleeve to have fun this summer. <laughs> well, we hope this video finds you all well and safe and sheltering in place. Thank you to Fabian and Isabella and everybody take care. See you when we see you. See you soon. It was Ben and Rebecca that did this video and it was really great. So we kept uh, in contact obviously and they're also traveling now in an expedition vehicle and uh, yeah, it's, it's really great what these connections can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little update and uh, hopefully you liked the story how we met Ben and Rebecca. We really miss you guys. We miss when we see your video, we miss the beauty of Alaska, the snow in the background. I mean. We don't complain from Quintana Roo is beautiful Mexico, Caribbean, uh, even though we don't see the ocean that much because it's all blocked in those crazy times. But um, yes, it is nice uh, that you gave us this update. And like I said, we miss you and you are inspiration to a lot of people out there that want to do the same. Our lifestyle is nice. And, you know, so if you like what we are doing, check us out on instagram check them out on instagram out leo's overland uh, check out their webpage they have a webpage too So thanks for watching this video and uh, we have some news. We have now mm -hmm. a subscription page www.liveandgive4x4.com and there you can sign up for newsletter for whatever when we launch our webpage. So be one of the first and register yourself. You're going to get some free stuff there sent and some new updates. Nice. <laughs> then thanks for watching again and see when we see you. See you when we see you. Thank you.